I, I actually went upstairs and got a jacket because I'm actually cold. <sighs> I'm going to do this dungeon, and then when we're done, we're going to um, do something else. Because I just had to do this. I, I totally forgot. I didn't have a 10 plus on this character. So If you're playing World of Warcraft right now and you haven't done a 10 plus mythic, you know you got to do it, right? You have to. There's no choice here. I just queued up and I got into a group and I'm doing it. Once you're done... And this thing says 10, you get a free 9.30 piece tomorrow. Every Tuesday, I get presents in the in the order hall chest. Just trust. Just do 110, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to do anything else. I only one four, I'm only at 1.4 million deeps, man. Damn, I'm at 1.5 million DPS, and I'm like third. Man, this is a good group. This is a really good group. All right, something's wrong with the key bindings. Um, I can go to bed now without judging me. Uh, to look up on my phone. <laughs> you know you're doing it though. You're gonna go to bed? I do the same thing, man. When I go to bed, I take my phone with me, man. And I'm excited. And I have my charger right there, right next to my phone. I have an, like an external charger and I plug it in, boop, boop. And then, you know, I do what I gotta do. I gotta go to the bathroom. And then uh, I get ready for bed. I, I make sure I lock all the windows. I lock the doors because I'm OCD. And then once I'm done on unlocking everything, I crawl into bed. And the first thing I do is I grab my phone, turn it on. Boop, and the light shines on my face. Oh, God, it's a software update for Apple. Oh, God, no, dude. No, 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 no. I know what this means. A software update for Apple. Do you know what that means? It's time for the battery life of my phone to go do do caca because there's a new iPhone out. If I click this button, my battery will die forever and I have to buy the iPhone 7. I don't want to click on the button, man. I kind of like my phone. I don't want to have to change it for an iPhone 7. I, don't, I think my phone will cease to function if I don't update it, right? I know the update's going to somehow kill my battery. <laughs> my battery will cease to function. Right? Yeah, it's going to kill my battery somehow, some way. All right, I'm ready to install the update. All right, are you guys ready for the phone uh, to stop working? Very fine update. I'm in trouble now, man. I did it on uh, last night. It's okay. Nothing happens. Okay. I know it's a, it, 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 to say it, it's conspiracy theory. I know that. But I found it too much of a coincidence that I've had um, my phone battery die or like not charge anymore really well shortly after a major update where there's, there's new phones available. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like a coincidence. Wait. Why does my battery stop working and now there's a new phone? It's just get the new phone. And then I always get the new phone because I'm like, my battery, my, my phone doesn't work anymore. I got to get the new phone. <laughs> I always end up getting the new phone. But at the same time, I'm like, this phone is good. But I know the, you know, the lithium, the lithium ion batteries. I know you're, this is what you're supposed to do. For those of you who don't know, I think, because I think Paco told me this because he worked in a, in a cell phone company. You're supposed to let the battery drain to zero before charging it. But who does that? Does anybody here let the phone drain to zero before charging it? I mean, you literally drain to zero so your phone actually turns itself off. All right, now let me charge it. No, you, usually people go 80%. I got to plug that in, charge that thing. You're supposed to keep it from draining below. Oh, you're not supposed to? Or are you supposed to keep it from draining below 50%? It's a myth, right? Now I have to use mine at 2% and then charge it. Man, if I see my phone at 2%, if I open anything, like it'll, it'll, re it'll, it'll shut down. Use your blessings. Oh, oh, dude, you're totally right. Let me put a blessing of um, wisdom on the healer, and then on the tank, I'll put a blessing of uh, kings on the tank. Oh, that's right. Thank you, guys. I totally forgot about the blessings. Think of it as a barrel of apples. When you fill the barrel with fresh apples and leave the ones that haven't been sold at the bottom every time, the apples at the bottom decay some battery cells. I know lithium ion batteries have a have a, a shelf life of about a couple years, maybe a year and a half, two years depending on 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 your usage, right? So, like say batteries after a year, they're not going to charge as well as a brand new crisp battery. The only problem is the iPhones have internal batteries, right? You can't just take out the battery and replace it. You might be able to do it at a place, right? If you, if I take it to like a battery um, one of these phone repair places, they'll replace the battery, right? Give me a crisp brand new one. 
That way I don't have to replace my phone. They would probably tell you it's new, but most likely it's a year old. Oh, they would give me a refurbished battery. Anyone have any suggestions on the race? A class I should pick, what, on live servers? You can pick anything you want, honestly. Um, only Horde have certain, certain talents that are actually really good for, say, for PvP. But I don't think it'll make that big, much a big, big of a difference, unless you're really into PvP. The Orc Ratio is actually really, really good for PvP. Uh, Blood Elf Silence is actually really good too. And the Horde Racials got buffed. Because um, I think too many people were playing Alliance and, uh, and Blizzard wanted to buff the Horde Racials to get people to play on Horde. And they buffed them too much. They buffed them so hard that they that they literally had to nerf a couple of them. But, but for the majority of them stayed the same. And I honestly think that the, the Horde now have better Racials than Alliance. What would be the best Racials for PvE? Horde or Alliance? I honestly don't know for PvE. Depends on the class aspect. Overall, I'm, that's what I was saying. It's really cool to see how people are catching up on DPS, you know? It's really cool how, to see how people are actually getting really geared out. Like on my, on, my, on my main, on my warrior, I actually got geared out very quickly. At the very beginning of the expansion. Just doing Mythic Dungeons, that's all I did. Mythic Dungeons, Heroic Raiding, and Normal Raiding, and then uh, some PvP. But the thing is, the rewards from PvP weren't really that great. Even though I grinded a lot in PvP. I was very discouraged and very disappointed at the very beginning of the expansion when I saw the rewards in PvP. Because I grinded like 2k in PvP and casually doing PvE gave me much better rewards. And I was like, that's not fair. It's literally not fair for the PvPers. Uh, how do I get mythics if no one lets you in? Um, you have to get good credit rating or uh, you have to form your own key. You might have to do the lower, the lower ones um, and work on your, your key and just get your own key. Um, once you get your, once you get your credit score high enough, uh, people you'll start getting invites. It's all about item level. People discriminate because of item level, so you want to try to get as high as item level as you can. Now on my frost, on my red paladin, I'm 930 item level. I got that in like, <laughs> I got not like 920 in like two days or something like that. It's not that hard to get item level. You just gotta grind the mythic plus dungeons, get your order hall chest at the end of the week. Look, imagine four weeks of order hall chests. That's four pieces of gear that are 930 plus. They have a chance to be 940 or 945. So it's it's like in a month, you gotta think of the long term. In a month, you do one Mythic Plus dungeon per week, you'll have four 930 pieces if you're lucky. If you get two of the same pieces, then you're completely unlucky and that's terrible, but you know, sometimes it happens. So right now, for example, I could have not done this. I could have not logged into this character and uh, and gotten this Mythic dungeon out of the way. But by doing this, I'm guaranteed a piece tomorrow. 9.30 piece tomorrow. 9.30 plus. And it's good. On Tuesdays, I always uh, on Tuesdays I always log in and open the chest. It's like it's like free presents. I get three gifts. Because um, I have my Red Paladin, I've got my Frosty Can, and then I got my main, which is my Warrior. I actually might change my loot specialization to Fury. Because I already have a good artifact relic on my Fury Warrior. Like a really good one. 9.45. That's insane. I got that from my Order Hall chest. If I get another upgrade tomorrow on Fury, and we just go Fury World PvP. <laughs> uh, thanks for doing uh, shots with us on the Discord party. Haha, <laughs> Wild Karath. Who ordered the... Wait, who ordered the... The Jaeger shots? Who did that? I got wrecked after that. We we went to like a... a did we... did Not Denny's. We went to... Did we go to... Did we go to Denny's afterwards? I was pouring water all over... What the heck? At the Denny's, I was pouring water all over my phone trying to prove that it was waterproof. And then I, then I was passed out. I passed out. I was like this. I was passed out. And that's because you guys were doing shots of Jaeger. You guys, how, how did I get out of there? You guys carried me out of there, right? You and Jen carried me? I don't remember anything after that. <laughs> and it was you guys' fault. You guys gave me those Jaeger shots. At the end of the night, at the end of the, the, the at the party. Jagger shots for everybody! Yeah! See the thing the thing about these parties is there was four parties, right? One every day. Um, I didn't get into the Wildhead party. Um, but I got into all the other parties. Um, there was free drinks at all the parties. And I remember because I went to the uh, I went to the Hilton lobby and I I was like uh, I ordered two drinks. $38! So after that I was like, hell no! Let's just go to the parties, and the drinks are free. I ordered a double, but 
on one of the drinks, but still $38? Then after that, we went to the parties, and then we didn't have to spend any more on out. <laughs> no more $38 for a drink. Alright, looks like we're gonna make the timer boys by 15 minutes, so we, we three-chested... We three-chested, um... This dungeon. A 10. I could clearly see... The POWER! POWER! THE POWER! <laughs> three-chested by like 15 minutes, man. That's crazy. You got a 9 arcway? Uh, this guy got a 15, 915. What'd I get? 915. Ah, that's not an upgrade. But this is definitely a lot of artifact power. 1.7 billion? You guys, do you think it's gonna be one big server? What do you or, mean? Oh. Or like cross realm? You're talking about uh, Project Six, uh, like uh, Legacy? Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't even want real ID to be a thing on it. I don't know. I don't know. Like when someone ganks you, 